it was time to start our Abisu Drift Matsuri weekend. But we were out of fuel on the way to the track. The old trick in the book, pop the fuel cap. Start. Oh look, a tree. We rolled to the um, exit of the freeway at the toll gate and um, luckily we have a servo in sight and we're gonna see if it has a um, jerry can for us to take some fuel. Just a normal adventure with Woz and Joss. We were trying to work out how we would explain our predicament, but it turned out it was just all part of the service for this kind employee. He filled up a jerry can, told us to jump in the truck, and away we drove, heading back to our car. Yeah, uh, 400 meter, uh, like a tall no the Gucci. Uh, yeah, What a legend. I don't think any Australian service station would offer that kind of service. So that just happened, and we're gonna go to the gasoline stand and uh, also get some more fuel so okay. we don't run out. More gasoline. Enter your cash, confirm, select your fuel type and we are sorted. We were back on the road now and stuck in traffic but after more toll payments we had made it back to the track for our festival of drift shenanigans. It might surprise many that Abisu is also home to the Tohoku Safari Park, with penguins, elephants and tigers on site all year round. After paying for our entry, Woz and I found a spot to set up our drift camp and unload our supplies for the weekend. Our supplies were mainly wheels and tyres of course. Lots of tyres, plus some tools and parts to keep us going. We then tried to clean up our cars as best we could. And if it closes on its own, it's good to go. Next, it was time to fit our new tyres up at power vehicles. Woz will not compromise being low for anything, so this is what our trips under the tunnels to the tracks usually look like from my point of view. Ibisu even has an on-site fuel station, so our last point of call before driving was feeding the beast some high-octane energy and we were then officially ready to get jiggy. Let's do it. We started on the Higashi course, and this section as you exit the right-hander is one of my favourite parts of any of the tracks. Getting the link smooth downhill to the next left-right is great fun. All the tracks at Abisu have amazing elevation changes, even if the GoPro seems to flatten Woz's downhill entry into a steep uphill right hander here. This is pretty much the view from the Higashi toilet. Best toilet view in the world? Potentially. But after a few laps, I managed to pop my front tyre, which kept finding an existing flat spot under braking. That's the culprit. I'd also managed to create a crazy new aero package for the laurel at the same time. Plus, it was hot work out there. What are we doing now, Waz? Working on cars. What's wrong with this one? Somebody's boot is not attached. It lost about 20 hours of our trip. What are we doing now, Waz? We're trying to get your headlights to work so you can do stuff in the dark. What else are we doing now? Otherwise nothing but numb, but numb. If you're changing front tyres, change your tyres, working on cars. Here horns, horns, no, no horns. Was's S14 had its own problems though. Alright. What are we doing now, Was? Com testing. Why are we com testing? Because there's bubbles in the cooling. SR light. Super Mazda. It was time for lunch. 
Having weird foreigners park loud, beaten up old cars amongst the safari park day tripping families must have been pretty strange for them, I thought. After lining up with the other tourists, we got to recharge ahead of the afternoon session. Our next stop was Kita, or the North Course, which is super fun. On this run, I was following Stewie Bryant when I forgot to notice the huge pothole in the road. Clunk. Yep, there goes front tyre number two. Back in the pits, I had a few seconds to come up with an excuse for Woz. Started up on his six when he pulled through the clouds and then I moved in above him. Well, if you were directly above him, how could you see him? Because I was inverted. Bullshit. Off came the wheel and yep, I reckon that's probably from the pothole. Ibisu is all about exploring the limits, and it doesn't always look like those three minute montages people put together. Sometimes it really goes wrong though. Hopefully you have a roll cage like this guy did. In a rare moment of clarity, I decided we add some lock to the laurel by removing the lock stops. Okay, test one. Ah, can't get the lock off. What are we doing now? Making less lock. <laughs> what did we do before? We added more lock. At dusk, I was out on the Minami course when a car ran into the wall in front of me. It ended up producing the most surreal moment of my entire trip. Can we push? Pretty romantic stuff, isn't it? Thank you. Just a normal Saturday night, pushing a car on the Nami in Japan. Yeah. Alright, I better go and get my car. As the darkness takes over on Saturday, the tracks and power vehicles remain open late into the night. Tyres need to be changed and in the power vehicle's garage, Cars need repairs. Very big solid moons. Very fast. Around midnight we checked out the Toge course. It turned out it was pumping. The other C35 here was driven by a female. Was never says no to a toge session, and even with a busted head gasket, it was just a matter of refueling the coolant system every four laps. Ibisu really is a special place to visit. Ah. <sighs> Sunday morning. The birds are chirping and Woz is washing his car. After a morning warm up on the toge, and the only chase footage we have on this track unfortunately, we headed over to the Nishi or West Course for some high speed drifting together.
couple of laps of pushing hard, Waz's car limped back to the pits again, sounding like a tractor and desperate for another drink. Poor bastard. <laughs> What temperature does your car get to? <laughs> May have seen 127. After another top up and a few laps watching Daigo Saito and a few other top drifters, Woz gave the send off his car deserved. <laughs> died a noble death and seemed a fitting way to finish our crazy weekend. We got an encore as we packed up as a send-off. Pretty cool. <laughs>